Hey, what is up guys? In this video, we're having a look at the headline widget inside Jet Elements plugin. This mod allows you to do exciting things with the text. So let's go ahead and check this out now. So now what you're doing is typing in headline and it will look like that. The first thing you're seeing is that your title is now consistent of two parts, the first one and the second one. Let's leave the text the same, it doesn't really matter. You can also add a link. So now this title is clickable. So the decorative elements are the icons and the images. So you can either add an icon or an image to the first part and the second part as well. So it's gonna look like that. So here it goes, the images, you know, it just works the same way. You go ahead and add an image. It can be a logo. It can be any other image. It can be a photo. So if you need to add an icon or an image to your title, you can totally do that. But I'm not doing that for now. But you just be aware of the fact that you can. So we're done in the content tab. So let's go ahead to the style tab. Now here goes the direction. Now it's set to horizontal, but you can make it vertical. So the parts of the title are stacked on top of each other. So if you want to go with a, this layout, go ahead and choose it here in the direction. The background type, well, you can set the background for this title padding, margin, and border radius. This is all for the container of this module. But let's go to the first part tab where you can change this first part. As you see, you've got the first part and the second part. So you get to tweak the style of these elements separately. So what you can do with that now is to change the margin and make these two parts overlap each other, which can make some really interesting effects. So now let's make the font bigger. Because what I want to do is to show you how you can add images inside your text. Which is a really interesting way to style such a boring thing as text. So you need to go just one section down and find the option called use text image. You toggle this to yes and immediately you've got an option to add an image. Let's add something colorful. Well, I don't know. Will this work? Yeah, it's totally working. The background position, here you change the position, the background size, let this be covered. So, and now you see the parts of the images inside the text, which is like super exciting because before you needed to head over to Photoshop, do that with masks and then upload an image in here. But now you can totally do that with custom text right inside Elementor and no need to go to any other app or program, whatever. So we're done with the first part. Now with the second part, you know, can just do all the other boring things you can do with the tags, topography, shadow, background type, alignment, etc. And some settings for the decorative elements. So here you can enable some decorative elements. As you see, they also look pretty interesting. And here it goes. Now is a great looking heading created with the help of Jet Elements plugin. So now you know what possibilities you have while working with the headline element inside Jet Elements. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial and I'll see you the next time.